now we come to the concept called the self inductance and as the as the term is self explanatory it says that it is the when we find out the ratio of the flux linked and the flux linked by a circuit due to the current flowing in the same circuit. we get self inductance right nothing different so it is the same thing fine fine now suppose i have a i have a solenoid right so i have a solenoid where where okay so So, <clears throat> so, okay. So I have say a solenoid like that with a length with a length L and with the radius R. with the radius r and a current i okay so so let there be a solenoid of length l and radius r right so what happens if a current i flows in the circuit then what happens b is equal to mu naught n i right and and the n is equal to n is equal to the number of turns the l is equal to length of length of the solenoid i is equal to current in the solenoid okay and r is equal to the radius of the solenoid right now if a current i flows in the circuit then b is equal to mu naught n i and 
and what happens due to that what is the flux flux is equal to mu not n i into into a right so that n phi this is this is actually in a sense this is flux or, or I should write like that flux link by 1 turn is phi is equal to b into a therefore flux linked by n turns is n phi which is equal to n into b into a which is n into b into pi r square obviously i should have put the value of mu naught n i that is b into pi r square which is which is area that is n phi right that is the total total flux linked now this is actually equal to is equal to i write n as small n into l right mu naught n i stays at its own place pi r square is this now this becomes mu naught n square right n square mu naught n square pi r square l into i is it not so so n phi upon i becomes this is n phi right <coughs> that becomes mu naught n square pi r square l fine and this is what i call this is what i call m 1 1 or also l 1 right you will find m 1 1 is a better better kind of notation you will shortly see why so so if i say l 1 l means self inductance of circuit number 1 if i say m 1 1 then it becomes self explanatory that it is the flux linked by coil 1 by circuit 1 due to current in itself so i immediately understand that it is it is self inductance correct now one thing that we should understand if if n becomes double your inductance becomes four times okay so you should keep that in mind many a times they ask a simple one marker one mark question what happens if <coughs> i increase increase the number I, I i make the number of turns twice the length remaining the same <coughs> hmm? the the length remaining the same what will happen so n by l obviously becomes double so small n becomes double so you understand so so the inductance will become four times hmm? what happens if i double the length as well it will become double. if i if i if i increase the number of turns by 2 and uh, i make it double the total number of turns and i double the length of the solenoid as well eight times <coughs> hmm? eight times no see what happens to n you make this double you make this double so that remains the same is it not what it earlier was no so n does not change if i double the number of turns and i double the length so number of turns per unit length does not change so what changes only l changes so it will simply become double right hmm? so this is self inductance l1 which is m11 is mu naught n square pi r square l yes uh -huh. i didn't get if i am doubling huh? 
How? 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 Huh? This. नहीं, I said I doubled the number of turns. I doubled the length. So small end did not change, no. So there will be no contribution from here. The only contribution will be due to the increased length. You understand? The only contribution is due to the increased length, and and so it will become only double. Right? Hmm? Fine.